Welcome back everyone to your 45th Objective-C tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about something called a static variable. Now in the last tutorial we learned about global and external variables and how they're kind of one and the same but there are going to come certain times where you only want to make your variable global. That means that any method in that file can access it but not external and that means that files outside that file cannot access it so in the last tutorial we learned how to make it so it was both in this tutorial we're gonna learn to restrict it a little bit and make sure that it only has access to that one file so let's go ahead and in your tuna header um, I cleared everything out by the way because we don't need everything in there and let's type this where it should be instead of right there and let's go ahead and make two methods one is gonna they're both gonna return void actually so add one just like that and the next one is gonna be void and we will name this one let me see what time it is so I don't run out we'll name this one like print it right like that so we have two methods right here looking good so let's go ahead and copy those in an implementation Let's go ahead and implement those so we don't forget. And now let's go ahead and above the implementation declaration of the class tuna, go ahead and we'll create that static variable. And the um, syntax for this is static. And then just go ahead and put like in GX. Remember, you should always start them with a G to make sure they're global. And now set it equal to like zero or something. And what this does is, let me add a little comment it only makes it global not external that means any method we create in the implementation has access to this GX but if we went to any other class like this or this they wouldn't have access to it no matter what even though it's a global variable so let's go ahead and add the bodies for these what we're gonna do is each time we call add one we're just gonna take that G of X and add one to it simple enough and don't forget that the scope is restricted to this file and that's pretty much why you use static variables instead of just instance variables so other users won't be able to access this so take note that we never created this variable in the header you see usually we create variables for classes right here in the interface but we didn't do that so it's just a way of making it more restrictive and you'll find out later on when we actually write a program that's useful but for now this is just a demonstration so and add one all it does is add one and the print method all it does is ns log at all this does is the number is percent i just prints it out if you couldn't tell by my awesome naming conventions and if you're saying alright I remembered last time you needed the term extern um, when working with variables but don't forget you don't need it in this case because it's not external okay I can't stress that enough if you learn one thing learn that so if these methods look good which I mean they look good to me we'll see later on if we get an error or anything we're good to go so go ahead don't forget to import tuna and now let's go ahead and make our tuna object of course you gotta name it fish or else it won't work and save some space for that fish so tuna alec and initialize that object and now we can go ahead and use fish to begin calling why is that capitalize the end? Did I accidentally capitalize it in? No, it looks good. Oh, I must have just hit caps lock or something. But anyways, when we call add one, it's gonna add one to that uh global variable and print it. That looks good. And print it just prints it out. So let's go ahead and run this real quick, save it and it says the number is one now check this out if we go ahead and copy this copy paste it doesn't matter the spaces that was a mistake oh crap I forgot to release my fish fish release I got a little caught up in all the actually let me uh there we go so what we do is add one print it out add one print it out add one print it out and release it so check it out it says one two three four we could do this all day catch the fish but you know we really don't wanna so anyways what I'm trying to stress is this 
if we wanted to use that GX variable in this method, we couldn't. We'd just get an error messages or an error message. So you know there's really no use. What an external variable is, is it's a variable, I mean a global variable. It's a variable that we don't declare in the interface. We only create it in the implementation or pretty much above any file we want to use it. So this variable is only restricted to this file. No other file can even see it or access it or anything. And this is the difference between a global variable and an instance variable. And it's just one of those things that if you want to restrict it a little bit more so other users can't access it, that's the beauty of it. Again, this is just a real quick demonstration demonstration you'll see the usefulness of it when we actually need it and to create programs later on but for now I hope you guys learn what a static variable is how to use it put it above the implementation and uh, what methods can use it so thank you guys for watching I'm posting all the source code in my forum link below thank you for watching again don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys later